So welcome back to Third Downs and Touchdowns. Uh, again, season review, but because it's the opening drive, we are going to we are still looking at the opening drive. It's the second play. For some reason, NFL films haven't uh, put the down and distance markers on the clip. So this is going to be a little bit of a long introduction, so stick with us. So the previous play was a completion from Tua to Waddle for a first down. So on this first down, the formation wise, when Y left, F hip right, F motion to trips left, stretch left. So what the very long winded, but what does that mean? So Y right, so uh, Y left, sorry, Smith uh, Smythe at tight end is attached uh, as a blocker beside the left tackle. F hip right, so the F who's Carter, this is his first year with us from the Bengals, is on the hip of the right tackle Davis. Uh, then he's going to motion. And at the same time, we're going to run trips left. Um, let's uh, the defense as we look now are going to be the four pass defenders, the two corners, and the safeties are all going to drop to cover four. Um, and then the run defenders, the four down linemen, and the three linebackers and the two linebackers, sorry, and the other uh, defensive back are going to be run defenders. So let's just rather than look at defenders. Um, receivers block let's jump straight into film but alas i promised film i just want to talk to you about o-line versus d-line blocking scheme before we look at it uh, on stretch a lot of it relies on double teams at the point for attack you can see on this clip we've got 21 who's uh, who's going to be blocked on the motion from carter as he motions across and kicks him out really well uh, then at point for attack we've got a great double team between y uh, smythe our tight end and left tackle eichenberg what makes it even better is that Smythe gets onto the linebacker 54. Uh, our center and left guard Dieter and Kinley do a really solid job on the one tech. Um, I can hear you saying how it's easy for two of them to block one, and it should be, but that is the player who can blow things up straight away because of his angle of pursuit. Where it falls down from a blocking point of view is on the back side with our right guard and right tackle. Hunt just misses the linebacker number eight, and Davis initially does a nice job to reach the uh, number 93, the defensive tackle, but then doesn't get his hips or hands across. His, sorry, his hips are across, but then doesn't turn to work him away from the play with leverage. Uh, from a scheme, who's blocking number nine? Because Tua is an observer. So enough of that, let's get on to scheme. Okay, so I said scheme, I really meant film, I apologise. So, let's get into it. Good things first. Here we are with Carter, who we again signed, just a reminder, we signed from the Bengals. He's gone to motion across and kick out 21. And actually, it's just a really nice block. Here he comes, here he comes, kick out 21. Bang, 21's out of the play. Good. All right, so, let's just go back and again look at the goods. I've already spoken about, I think, what a good job it is here that Smythe and Eichenberg do to get on to 21. Remember, this is a tight end on a starting defense event. So here we go. I can uh, Smythe reaches outside leverage. He immediately takes away the tight end because he's got outside. Uh, sorry, the defensive end at point of attack because he's got outside leverage. Uh, here comes Eichenberg, big body, takes on the block, turns him away from the play. You can see here that right now we've got a good block between Dieter and Kindley. So let's just go back and see how that develops. Here we go. Sorry about this. Have to go back now. This is good. Dieter's got a tough job here because he's got one hand between his legs, comes down. Good, despite it being an outside play, Kindley plays it as it's an inside play, takes away leverage. Now that guy is out of the play. He's just struggling uh, to um, he's just struggling to make an impact right now. This is where it starts to fall apart though, with uh, our right guard hunt. You can see we've already demonstrated we've got this linebacker, this linebacker, uh, backer, uh, sorry, this defensive tackle, this D end picked up. Uh, I forgot to say that when we come off the when he came off the blog, uh, double team, Smythe picked up fifty four. Now this is where it falls apart. Number eight, our uh, um, right guard Hunt, as we watch him here, should release up and pick eight up from the play. He's in motion. Now this is difficult. Because you can see here that he's already play side on Hunt. This is tough. Now, Hunt is trailing him, trailing him, trailing him. But Hunt's never going to catch him there. Never going to catch him. At best, we could have hoped maybe that Kindley, who's involved in that double team, could have um, come off the block. 
but I don't think that was going to happen. So as we just, and right now, I just want to say Davis looks in a good position, right? However, as we work on, the defender plays it well, just puts his foot on the ground, pushes Davis past him, and now Davis is in real trouble. So the cutback lane has gone on stretch because Davis missed his block. I just want to draw your attention to one other thing. So once Tua hands the ball off to uh, Gaskin, he just becomes an observer. Who's blocking number nine? Because right now we're outnumbered at the point of attack. Because as you can see, hands off good, watches the play. There's nothing, number nine can clearly see the ball is there. He doesn't have to respect Tua at all. So whilst the problem is initially that both uh, Davis uh, and Hunt missed their blocks, there's nothing to hold nine. That's not Tua's fault. I I hope it's not Tua's fault. I imagine that's the scheme thing. So before we go on to the next play, uh, let's just have a quick look at grades. Let's very quickly talk about grades. As you'd expect, uh, Smythe, who I've spoken about in the double team to linebacker, gets a positive grade, two blocks for the price of one. Unfortunately, you might be able to get away with one offensive lineman making a mess of a block, but we have two linemen for two different reasons. Hunt gets a negative grade, but I think that's more scheme than his fault, but it's still a negative grade. And then Davis got beat by the defender, and that's even worse for me because I think that was avoidable. Uh, however, uh, that was the first down. Let's have a look at the second down. Goldfins.